all right, this week I'm going to do a bit of pruning. So for the most part, that just means reducing the tree down by about a third, pretty standard stuff. But there's a couple of trees that have just kind of grown wildly out of control. And the only way I can deal with that is doing some pretty extreme forms of pruning. You know, I had this arborist round the other day and he could see a load of privet that I'd been cutting back in the bush. And he said, oh, if you want to get rid of that, you probably need to poison it. And I said, oh, can't I just sort of keep cutting it back? My plan was just to sort of cut it off at the base, keep letting it grow up and then just sort of cut that stuff down and just chuck it down. And he said, yeah, you could, but um, you'd really have to keep on top of it. And it would probably take about five years before the plant would actually die. And I thought, that's interesting, isn't it? That when it comes to pruning, we're sort of taught only take off a small amount, be very careful, you know, and then when it comes to getting rid of a tree, it's like you hack it all the way to the base and it still keeps coming back. I mean, this is a good example here. Like I've chopped, this thing was in a terrible step. I've really hacked away at it. I mean, I was, didn't care whether it sort of, whether I got rid of it or not really. I was just chopping back here and you can see, you know, there's only a few months growth. It's coming out all over the place. So it's kind of made me think that Ideally, I think if you've got a, you know, a, a nice tree that you've just bought from a nursery, then yeah, sure, as much as you can, just chop back one third only and don't put too much stress on the plant. But at the same time, when a tree has really grown completely out of shape and your only option is to cut quite a big chunk away of it, I do think that can work. I'll start with this nectarine tree because it's the easiest. And I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out. So I bought it from a nursery. I'd never had any experience of pruning or anything like that. And I read that you would need to cut off the plant quite low in order for it to come out into a kind of vase shape. And you can see the cut that I've made here. So I, I cut that as soon as I planted it and it's worked really well. It's kind of come out like this in a vase shape. You've got this big open center, lets the light in. Uh, even though it's very young, I think we'll get probably a decent amount of fruit off it this year. It's pretty easy to see where that new growth starts. So there's a kind of a ring here, the older wood here, and then all of this, which is the new wood. And we probably just don't need all of that. So cutting it about here will give me that kind of third off. I'm gonna cut it pretty close to the bud because when you cut it too far this way, you get this sort of dead bit of wood that can cause problems for the tree. Uh, and I've also chosen a bud that is sticking outwards from the tree because I don't want the main growth to be back into the center. Anything that's like crossing like this, where you get two branches, they're just gonna to rub together. So I'll come in and remove that one. Ideally, I want branches coming out at a 45 degree angle because they hold the most fruit that way. Things like that, obviously uh, not gonna be any good. So things like that I'll get rid of. And anything that's coming out at 90, I'll get rid of that as well. Since I'm keeping this central area open, anything that's coming in, I get rid of. So things like that, that are kind of growing in this way, I just cut that off at the base. You don't have to prune fruit trees at all. You could just let them grow, but they will grow absolutely massive unless they're on a particularly small rootstock. This one I got from a nursery about a year ago, and I normally I'd cut it off about here, I guess, just to let those branches come out. And I didn't do that with this one because the ground was pretty dodgy and I thought just leave it for the first year and see how it goes. And interestingly, when you don't prune them, they just go up. You can see there's no kind of growth coming out this way. It's all just straight up. I mean, I can't quite touch the top of it. So it's grown a lot, but it's just vertical. And if I just leave this as is, it would become um, a really tall tree. I'm just going to make one cut. I'm going to be removing quite a lot of the tree, I suppose. And that's why I don't want to cut it too much just because each cut it has to heal, it takes a lot of energy from the tree. Um, and so since I'm moving a decent amount of wood, I'm just gonna make one cut, I'm gonna make it right here. The reason for going here is there's a bud facing out this way. So I'm hoping that this will come out here and all that vertical growth, I don't really need it. So I'm gonna cut that. I actually made a few more extra cuts just around here, but that gives me a nice sized tree. And then when spring comes, this should all grow out nicely from this area here. This is an almond tree. It wasn't um, doing that well when we first got here. And I cut out this area around it and filled that with mulch. It's helped massively and the plant's grown a huge amount in the past year. The problem is, which I hadn't noticed before, is that at the base here, there's actually, it's kind of two trunks almost. 
And the problem with that is, is they're just going to end up rubbing and that's where you'll get disease and mess. And so I think the best thing for me to do is actually remove one of these trunks. I used to live in London on this street that had trees running on both sides all the way down it and buses would go up and down that route. So every few years, arborists would come by and cut the trees back and they weren't going around with little pruning shears making very careful cuts. They were getting chainsaws and just cutting those trees right back. They're basically pollarding them so you'd be left with a kind of trunk and these just big fat stubby branches. And I remember seeing it at least a couple of times and thinking, wow, are they going to grow back? You know, they grew back fine, they survived, and after all, these, this is the same species, we're still talking about trees. So, I do think that fruit trees can probably, um, we don't have to be quite as careful with them as we've been taught. Behind me is a real problem tree. This is a huge peach tree. I didn't plant it, it was already here when we, when we got here. And in the first summer, I was really excited about it, like, oh, we have our own peaches. And it did produce quite a few. But the tree had so many problems. It was always kind of diseased and it was covered in bugs and the peaches would go rotten and we wouldn't eat a single one. And so I kind of trimmed it back, you know, being mindful of that whole kind of 30% rule and um, tried to get it into slightly better shape. And the next summer, the same again. And I've realised that I'm not going to be able to sort this out. Um, just by doing a little bit of pruning here and there. It's just not going to work. So my options are, you know, one, to, to just get rid of it and put another one in. Um, or the other way is to do a more kind of extreme form of pruning. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it a go and get rid of all of the bits of the tree that I don't want. This is the main problem I've got. There's basically five branches here coming out of the base. They kind of come out like this and then you get all these very little kind of twiggy branches coming out and it doesn't really, it just doesn't hold much fruit like that. Um, ideally I'd want one kind of central leader coming up with some decent sized branches coming out at 45 degrees from that central bit. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is there is one branch here that's pretty solid and that could be our trunk, that could be the central leader and all of the rest of it I'm just going to ditch. Using this to cut that definitely feels a bit wrong. I'm going to do it anyway though. Mm. Alright, so that just gives us one central leader. I think I'm going to cut this to about here. I mean all this stuff that goes over here, even if it did fruit, you're not going to be able to reach it. So if it was here, maybe some of these branches will kind of come out and we'll see a bit more growth along here. Whether that was a good or a bad idea, check back in the summer and find out. But this is interesting. This tree has been in for a year and a half. And just last summer, in its first summer, it gave us 10 peaches which I think is incredible from a, you know, just a small tree from a nursery in that year and a half. I reckon next summer we'll have at least double that. So that's the alternative would be just starting again, cutting it down and planting a new one in. But I wonder whether we'll get anything out of that. It'll be interesting to see. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.